Lewis Hamilton has taken a subtle swipe at his Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas, claiming his teammate's disastrous start to the Mexican Grand Prix put him on the back foot from the get-go. It was a day to forget for Mercedes, which had high hopes for the race given both drivers started on the front row of the grid. Did you know you can catch up on the 2021 F1 Mexican Grand Prix for free with minis on KO Freebies? Register now, no credit card required. But Bottas, who started on pole position, couldn't have had a worse start, allowing Red Bull's Max Verstappen to fly along the inside of the track and take the lead going into the first corner. It got even worse for the Finn, who was clipped by Daniel Ricciardo down the opening straight, spinning out and plummeting down to P18 while the Aussie lost his front wing in the carnage. When the safety car departed and the race resumed, Ricciardo and Bottas were at the very back of the pack in 17th and 18th. Following the chaotic start, Verstappen led virtually the entire race and went on to win and extend his lead over Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship. Hamilton finished second as Sergio Perez crossed the line third to ensure both Red Bull stars stood on the podium. The seven-time world champion acknowledged Red Bull had superior pace all race, but he was far from impressed with Bottas' poor start that allowed Verstappen to take the lead so easily. Speaking after the race, Hamilton explained he would have liked Bottas to have made more of an effort to block the Dutch star's path down the first straight. I had envisaged it differently, naturally, in the sense that maybe Valtteri had got a better start and I would have tried to get into his toe, he said. But I was alongside him which was good, and then I was just covering my side of the track trying to make sure that no one could come up the inside. So I was trying to keep whichever Red Bull I could see in my mirror behind, and I thought Valtteri would be doing the same. But obviously, he left the door open for Max, and Max was on the racing line so did a mega job breaking into turn one. Because I was on the inside on the dirt, there was no hope for me. According to Bottas, there wasn't much he could have done to halt Verstappen's surge. The start was okay, not too bad, but Verstappen got a bit of a toe and he braked really late, he told Sky F1. But then suddenly at the apex at turn one I think Daniel hit me in the rear and right there I spun I couldn't do anything and then after that the race was tricky to make progress. I was too close to cars and managing engine and brakes so I could manage it until I was getting too close then it was not easy. Bottas's race was a complete write-off after his shocking start and he ended up finishing out of the points in 15th. In the closing stages of the race, Mercedes used Bottas a ploy to steal a crucial championship point off Verstappen by pitting him twice and giving him fresh tyres to he could record the fastest lap of the race. But that was little consolation for Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff, who was scathing of Bottas' poor start while watching a replay of the run into Turn 1. Yeah, that doesn't really console me at that stage, he said. You see that for a single lap we have the pace in the car, or at least to take quickest lap away from Max, but still overall it's a day to forget for us. Wolf said the ultimate result of Bottas finishing outside of the top 10 was annoying to say the least. That should not happen, he said of Bottas moved to the inside of the racing line, which opened the door for Verstappen. We had two cars in front and that seemed to open up the sea for Max to come around the outside. Even with the spin afterwards and the complete loss of points when it could have been a third or fourth with Valtteri's car. It's annoying to say the least. Red Bull boss Christian Horner said after the race he couldn't believe how easy Bottas made it for his driver to take the lead, having started the race from the second row on the grid. Verstappen had got the advantage of getting an aero toe from his teammate heading up the straight, allowing him to surge around the outside of the two Mercedes. He never looked like surrendering the lead from there.